Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at PDFs. I'm going to show you how to use the snapshot tool within the PDF to break the PDF into other chunks. So using this tool, you can reassemble that PDF with space in between certain sections of the information. So if you have a student that needs more space to respond, or you need that that worksheet or information chunked for that student, this is a way to reorganize it so you're meeting that student's accommodations. So here's a PDF I have to show you as an example for this process. And what you wanna do is go up to where it says edit, and you're gonna go down to more and go over and you wanna select take a snapshot. So once you do that, you'll see some crosshairs that pop up. And so now what I can do is I can, let's say take the title in the part one directions and drag, I'm clicking and dragging, and then I let go of the left click button. And then it says the area has been copied. So the next thing we're gonna do is put this in a new Google Slides presentation. So to open up a new Google Slides, the fastest way is to open a new tab and just type in slides.new. So now I have a brand new blank presentation here. So one quick way to get rid of this title box here is to just click and drag and then hit delete. So now I just have a blank page to start with. So if we want this to look more like a worksheet and print it out as eight and a half by 11, we have to reset the, the page setup. So I'm gonna do that over here by clicking the file menu. And then I'm gonna go down here to where it says page setup, I click that. And right now it's set at widescreen. What we wanna do is go down to custom, click on custom. And then you wanna reset this to eight and a half by 11 for a normal copy paper size and click apply. Now we have the correct size and we print this out. We know it's gonna be a worksheet size that's gonna fit on copy paper. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna click in here and now I can do control V to paste. So now that I did that, you can see the part that we took a snapshot of is now on this new blank Google slide presentation. So in the background here, I still have the PDF. So I'm gonna click back there to get to that. Or you may have to, if your screen looks like this, you may have to reduce this like that and you should see the PDF behind it. And I can click okay here. And now I can do the same thing for the next part. Notice I still have those crosshairs right there. So actually it's ready for me to take another snapshot. So I can just click and drag again like this, let go and it will say it's been copied. So again, I can go back to my Google Slides presentation, which is right here, and I can do, I can click somewhere in here and do Control V. So one of the reasons you might do this is to make sure there's not as much information on the page. For some students, it's much better to chunk it that way, and it's not as overwhelming. So in this way, I can leave more space here, and I can put maybe one or two of these different sections on there instead of all of them at once. So let's say I put the elements there and now I can go back to my PDF down here, click OK. Again, I still see the crosshairs here, so I could go down and I can select compounds now. So I'm gonna select the compounds. When I come back here, I don't have to click here. I can just leave it just like it is and do Control V and it should put it right below. And then I can just move it wherever I need to. One quick tip is if you make a mistake, you can always do control Z and that will undo it. Control Z will undo whatever you did. Control Z. Control V will paste. There it is. So if I only wanted these two sections on this first part of this worksheet like that, now I can just over here, I can do slide, insert new slide. And there I go, have my new slide. If I wanna get rid of these title boxes, again, I left click and drag over them like that and it highlights them. I just click delete, gets rid of that. And now I'm ready to go to put the rest of the information on there. I could go back to the PDF. I can now look at this section right here for mixtures. Okay, and then I can go over here like this, control V and I have my mixtures part right there. I can keep going back and forth. Let's say I have this section next, I can go like this. If you wanna get rid of this message that pops up, you can click this box right here and then you won't have that extra click to do. So now I know it's been copied. The, the box is kind of helpful because you know it's been copied, but once you start doing this process, you'll remember that so you can get rid of that box and save yourself one click. 
now that I know it's on the clipboard again, I can go back here and I can just keep going and keep assembling this into a new form. So then the final step is to print this out. So you have reassembled this in, in a new way. You want to make sure that you go up here and that you give it a title and so you can remember what it is and save it in your, your drive, maybe in, in the appropriate folder for that unit or that section, however you want to organize that. But make sure you give it a name. So after you're done putting that name in, you can click away from it and it should just stay there like that. The next thing is, let's say I want to print this out. So if I'm going to print it out for the student, I click print. It should generate the preview. So now you just want to double check that everything looks the way you want it to print it out. If not, you can hit cancel and you can go back and reassemble some things again. You can move them around a little bit more. Like, so let's say I want a little bit more space here and I want to put this down here um, on the first page. Let's say uh, maybe I want to have space for the, the student to write their name. I could in, insert that, things like that. And then I could just go back here and click print again. It generates that preview with my changes. When everything is set the way you like it and it looks good, you can go down here and click print and then you can get that from the printer. So I hope that video is helpful to you. If you have any questions, you can always email me at kbollendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Until next time, have a great day.